Problems, but okay, good. Thank you. Once in a while, we'll keep them focused on that. Okay. Raise your hand if that while comes by. Yeah. Me? Uh, could you please state your name for the jury? My name is Kathy Martin. Kathy, where do you currently live? I live in my Aunt Mary's home. How long have you known your Aunt Mary? I've known as long as I've been alive. And how? close would you say you and your Aunt Mary have been? We were very close. We shared a bond. Um, we both loved art, and we spent a lot of time talking about it and visiting art museums, that sort of thing. And let's talk a little bit about the amount of time you spent together in 2007, for example. Okay. How often would you see your aunt? Um, I would see her maybe once or twice a week, depending on what our plans were. I would go to get to her house at least once just to visit, and sometimes we would go out an additional time. We'd go out of the house and go someplace. And when you would go someplace, where would you go? Uh, it depends on what she felt like doing. Sometimes we'd go to lunch, sometimes we'd go to plays. Um, it, it depended on what she wanted to do. And you took your aunt out a couple times a week? <clears throat> um, generally speaking, uh, I visited her once a week, and we'd go out maybe two to three times a month. And when did your aunt die? She died in December 2009. And when did you move in with her? January 2009. So who was taking care of your aunt prior to you moving in? Well, my brother Tom was supposed to be taking care of her. He had hired um, somebody to come in and do her housework and her laundry, that sort of thing. Uh, it wasn't getting done very often. I would, a lot of times when I went over, I would help her you know, do the laundry for her and vacuum a little bit, clean up a little bit. Could you describe what the condition of her apartment looked like when you would go over and visit? Um, generally speaking, it was it was messy. It looked like it hadn't been vacuumed. Um, the dishes weren't always done. Um, laundry was piling up next to the hamper. And did your aunt ever say anything about her relationship with Tom? Um, she said that you know he was her nephew and that she loved him, but. She wished he would visit more often. She wished he would do a little bit more to help her. Did she say anything else about your other siblings? Uh, no. Um, my other two sisters had a, a fairly good relationship with Aunt Mary. Both had small children, so they didn't get the chance to see her very often. And did you talk about your, both of your love for art? Yes, often. And just before moving in, what were you employed? How were you employed? Um, I had just been hired to do some corporate artwork, and um, it was something that, because I had to do it on site, I, when I moved in with Aunt Mary, I told them that I couldn't finish the job. So, did you resign from that position? Yes, I did. And I think you said, was that your dream job? Is that what you said? Absolutely. Absolutely. And did your aunt know that? She did. Did you tell her that? She did. Um, yes. Yes. I'd like to talk a little bit about the day you brought your aunt to the bank. <coughs> Please describe why you ended up going to the bank that day. Uh, we went to the bank because after, shortly after I moved in, I had started noticing that all of her bills hadn't been paid. So I kind of went through her checking account to try and straighten things out. And I noticed that um, my brother Tom <coughs> had been paying himself $1,000 a month out of her account to take care of her. You notice your brother Tom had been paying himself a thousand dollars a month. Yes. What did Tom say? I called him. He said that um, he he was paying the woman who came in to uh, do her laundry and do her housework. 
and that the extra was just for him because you know he was taking care of her. And when you got to the bank, what happened? Um, we met with Sam, and everything went pretty smoothly. My aunt didn't seem to have any issues. She didn't have any questions. She signed everything uh, without any problems. She didn't. <coughs> she didn't ask for explanation. You know, she understood why we were there and what we were doing. And what did she tell you about, if anything, about you keeping the money in the account? Well, she told me that um, she felt bad because I had to give up such a lucrative position and that she knew that I had, you know, had art is not always, we don't always earn money consistently and I had had some financial problems and she wanted me to be able to take the money in the account and pay down some of my debt. Why do you have so much debt? Well, again, art, you know, it, it's not always, you don't always earn a consistent income with art. Sometimes you get paid and sometimes you don't. Thank you, Counsel. Cross examination. <coughs> Thank you. Mary was legally blind at the time that she went to the bank, wasn't she? Mary had problems seeing. I don't know that she'd ever been diagnosed as being legally blind. And you never took her to the eye doctor, did you? I did on several occasions. And the eye doctor didn't tell you that she was legally blind? Mm -hmm. The eye doctor upped her prescription but didn't say anything about her being blind. And she had a reader in the corner of her house, didn't she? So that she could magnify certain things. She so did. She used it occasionally when she did needlepoint and reading, that sort of thing. And she didn't have that reader with her at the bank, did she? No, she didn't. Now, Kathy, at the time that you moved in with Mary, you had about $30,000 in credit card debt. Isn't that true? That's true. And isn't it true that you were evicted from your apartment because you could not pay your rent? Isn't that true? I chose not to pay my rent because the roof was leaking and the landlord wouldn't fix it. But you didn't have a lot of extra money anyway. Not extra money. And in fact, during the time that you lived with Sam, your former boyfriend, you had to borrow money from him. Isn't that true? Occasionally, because like I said, art is not always a lucrative career. And isn't it true that you still owe him money Today, I owe him a small amount, yes. Now, what exactly is your art, Kathy? Um, I do a number of different things. I do some work for craft shows, which consists of you know decorative plates and mugs, that sort of thing. And I also do some corporate art work, which is framed art. And since Mary's death, you haven't returned to a full-time job, have you? No, I'm still doing my art. And you're still trying to make a living doing whatever it is you do. Yes, I am. Okay. And you still have pretty severe money problems, don't you? Um, yes, I, because I have to turn down that corporate position, yes. But you haven't tried to get another corporate position since well, I, Mary's death. I've you? tried, but they're not exactly falling off trees at this Counsel, excuse me. I see. I see the cameraman trying to make sure that he's getting both of you. You may want to either move to one side or to the other, just for, for his purposes. Thank you. Now, <coughs> Kathy, you took Mary to the bank, isn't that true? Yes, I did. And in fact, you did most of the talking at the bank, didn't you? Well, Sam and I had a conversation. And Sam is your former boyfriend. Yes, correct. And you owe him money, correct? A little bit. Now, isn't it true that after you had Sam put your name on the account that you bought a car for yourself with money paid out of the joint account? I did buy a car. I wrote the check out and Mary signed it. Okay. So you wrote the check out? Yes. Okay. And this car was registered in your name? Registered in my name, yes. And you couldn't have afforded to buy a car on your own without the money coming from the joint account, could you? Right. Now, you weren't named the executor of Mary's estate, were you? No, I was not. My brother Tom was. It was your brother Tom was the one that Mary chose to be the executor. Of her she estate. said that you know he was a boy, so he should have that kind of responsibility. And you have two other sisters, correct? Yes, I do. And isn't it true that growing up, Mary generally treated you all equally? For the most part, yes. Correct. And she didn't show any particular favoritism 
to. She would take me on a couple of um, trips to art museums, that sort of thing. That she didn't take my sisters and my brother on, but that was because we shared that interest. Now, when you were put on the account, you ran some errands for Mary. Isn't that true? Sure. And that having you on the account made it easier for you to deposit Mary's Social Security check. Isn't that true? Yes. And having your name on the account made it easier for you to uh, make withdrawals that you made. Yes. Isn't that yes. true? Yes. And that uh, that was a role that was previously fulfilled by your brother Tom before yes. before you were put on the account. Yes. Okay. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Council.